me test a friend of mine asked me to draw it for them he is a very adorable 11 or 13 years old cat that passed away a few months ago after laying the dark tone color and the painting I am using a paper towel or tissue paper to blend it you can blend pastels with just your fingers or other blending tools like blending stumps pastel shapers i am using mango's semi-hard pastels which are less messy compared to soft pastels and easier to achieve a greater detail without using pastel pencils they're not chalky but still smooth and have good firmness since this is my first time painting a cat i am using different techniques to achieve the best resemblance from the reference photo I am uh, using Clairefontaine pastel mat that has a very very unique velvety surface that can uh, grab and hold multiple layers of colors even the softest pastels. Um, pastel mat is significantly reduces the need for uh, fixative this added bonus of gentle on your fingers and blending tools. You can use it with acrylics and watercolor as well for washes and mixed media techniques because it is uh, water resistant in creating portraits I want to have the eyes start out to be realistic before anything else it helps me build around it and when you created that it gives your painting the light right away from there, I can add more layers of colors to create the fur according to its uh, direction. Uh, from darkest color to the lightest, highlighting the tips of the fur. One advantage of using pastels in portrait painting that I really like, it gives you the chance to fix your painting until you said, okay, I'm done. The detailing part may be the longest time as I had to revisit and look back and forth the reference photo side by side with my painting adding layers, lines, making some spots but I hope they will like it <laughs>